Candice Fowles on a new lease of life at, um, at Manly, but um, you're having the best of both worlds of, um, of Sydney and now the Sunshine Coast. H how's it all going? Yeah, at the moment, you know, I've been extremely lucky to, you know, have the best of both worlds. I've been doing some great training in Sydney, but also to come up here for the last three weeks and, you know, training this sunshine is, you know, the most absolute fantastic preparation that I could have leading into Noosa. And um, some great results at New South Wales Championships, mm -hmm. Australian Championships with the Manly Girls. Yeah. Not much of a break and then you're straight back into it. Yeah, it was pretty tough this, this off-season, you know, only having two weeks off after the national titles. We were really successful this year, the Manly Girls. We were undefeated in the Taplin Relay, which as a club, that's, you know, you, you couldn't ask for anything more. But now that's in the past and we're all very focused on this upcoming season. And it's a busy season too. I mean, um, you, going towards the trial. Uh, that's going to be the main focus. Yeah, this season is going to be um, going to be very busy. We've got the trial coming up in about five weeks' time, and then you know I think maybe half the field or a little bit more might back up and do the gold, and then from there you've got well in New South Wales we've got Premiership Series, we've got uh, you know uh, quite a lot of racing up until Christmas, which is which is fantastic. And of course um, there is some talk that uh, maybe the Manly Girls will put a team into the Cooling Gutter Gold. Tell us about that. Yeah, I think this season the Manly Girls, you know, the team that won the Taplin last year, Bloody and Devon and, and myself, I think we are going to put a team in the gold just just to mix it up and have a bit of fun in the winter. Um, I'll be doing more than likely the board and run, Bloody, of course, on the ski, and uh, Devon, you can't go past her in the swim. She's She flies. And it's, a, it's an exciting event to be part of, isn't it? Just to be there and be racing with an individual or team, it's really it's growing in status, isn't it? The Cool and Gutter Gold is, is an amazing event and it's something that I think anyone that's involved in surf life saving should have a go at some stage, whether it is a team or an individual. I've done it three times individually and I think that's enough. Now I'm ready to do it as a team, have a bit of fun and you know just enjoy the event with girls that I train with and... So, yeah, I can't wait to do it. Of course, Bloody's got her eyes on the on the Olympics, so she's going to be in, um, in pretty good shape, isn't she? Naomi is, without doubt, the Australia's best paddler. The, the way she trains is second to none, and she's a very determined lady. For her to do a 500-metre sprint and then to do maybe a 10 or a 16K paddle, it's no big deal for her. She, As soon as she puts a cap on or as soon as she's on a ski or a kite ready to race, she's there to win. And um, experience from your viewpoint, mm -hmm. going towards the trial, uh, yeah. you'll, be, you'll be using a lot of that. Yeah, I think you've got to, you know, I'm 26 now, so I think you've got to use your experience as a bit of an advantage to some of these young girls. These, these young girls are very light and they can run, so that's their advantage and they do recover a little bit better. So you've got to find something that, that you have over the other girls. And for me, it's age and, and experience, so I'm definitely going to be using that to my advantage. Good luck. Thank you.